So, you want to add an image to an object in Blender 3.0. Well, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, we're back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at how to do what I just said. Basically, add an image to an object in Blender. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab default cube here and hit tab to go into edit mode. And you can see what it'll do is it'll open up like this uh, edit mode where we can mess around with the vertices and hit G to move them around and stuff by clicking them. What we're going to do first, though, is we're to make sure we have everything selected by tapping A, so everything's orange. And then we're going to hit U to, un to UV unwrap this, as you can see. And then we're going to go ahead and go to Smart UV Project. Now, this is going to help us out later. Let's hit OK. Help us out later when we uh, add the actual image to the, uh, to the cube or whatever object you're using. Basically, what this does is it makes it so that it takes all of this, like, it makes, it, makes the cube flat, basically, is what it does. So we can add, actually move around the image uh easier you know and you'll be able to see what i mean later on let's go to the material tab here down at the bottom uh, right let's go ahead and hit uh this is going to be a, a basic material this is the one that comes with it um so we're gonna go ahead and actually rename this to cube sure why not and now to add an image to this i'm gonna go ahead and go to this base color and we're gonna click this little yellow icon that's right next to it and then we're gonna go to image texture and find that which is right there now we can hit open and select our uh, our image so I'm going to go ahead and use this image right here, which is just a, uh, a little uh, drawing. So basically when we do that, you can see that you will not be able to see anything that's just happened. So begin at tab to go back out of, out of edit mode and you can see that you can't see anything at all. Now, if we go to material uh, mode up here at the top right, you can see material mode. Now you can see the actual image on the cube, but the issue is, is that it looks all weird. Like there's an eye here and a nose and there's like little pieces everywhere. It looks very strange. So to fix this. I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor in the top left of the screen until it turns into a plus and then click and drag until it turns uh, until it splits the window into two as you can see like this and what we're going to do after that is we're going to go ahead and go to the second uh window that we just created this one over here and then grab this little uh box right here and then switch this to the da, 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 uv editor right there boom so now you can see we have this little square which is essentially this cube now we just need to go ahead and kind of open it up so let's go ahead and hit this little drop down and select the picture which is called anime go ahead and as you can see now we have that full picture here now if we hit tab you can see that we have all of the sides of the cube that correspond to the cube over here you see all these little squares these are the uh the sides of the cube here um, so what we can do now is we can go up here to the the top of the uh, to the top of the UV editor. We can grab this uh, selection mode up here. You can see we have four different types of selections. We have vertex, we have edge, we have face, and we have island. Um, and now this this one we're, what we're going to use is we're going to use the face select so we can just grab each individual uh, side of the cube as you can see. So let's go ahead and grab let's say this piece right here. Hit G to grab this piece. Now what piece is this? What side is this? The bottom. It's the bottom so you can as you can see when i hit g to move this you can see the bottom of the canvas the bottom of the cube actually moves around uh to where we have this at now if we hit s to scale this up you can see we can scale the entire image onto the bottom of the cube which is very very cool now if we go ahead and hit the snap button here up at, up at the top you can see that we can go ahead and hit s to scale this actually we need to set scale as well so if you hit this little if you hit the magnet on so it's blue and then go to the right and grab this Make sure you have effect scale on. So when we hit S, you can see that it does scale and snap on a scale. So we can make that perfectly the, the size that we need it to be. Um, so we can do that. And we can do that for all of the different uh, cubes as well. We can hit G and move it over. Um, and we actually, we're actually going to need to uh, make sure this snaps by vertex to get this in the right place. So we can hit, uh, change this from increment to vertex. Hit G and then we can move it into the center right there. Then we can hit S to scale it up. And as you can see, where's the second one? There it is, right there. So we can do this for all the rest of these pieces as well, which is very, very cool. We can hit uh, G to move them over, S to scale them up, and then all of the sides will then uh, be in the place where we need them to be. Now for this last one, uh, we can go ahead and do the same thing. Hit S to scale it up. And then you can see that now we have that last one done. All of the sides of the cube are now perfectly uh, the size of the image because the image is a square as, as well. I'm gonna go ahead and turn color management to standard because it's not the right colors. As you can see, it was on filmic. If I turn to standard, it looks better. There we go, nice, cool. 
Um, now, let's say you want to go ahead and make sure that each one of these pieces is a different uh, side. Of course, you don't have to scale them up fully. You can just go ahead and turn the magnet off and then just scale it to what you want it to be. Maybe you just want an eye in this one on that side. You know, maybe you want uh, what side is this? top side maybe you just want the mouth in this side like you just put the mouth there you get the idea you can move them over move them around and this of course works the same exact way um, for another object it just wouldn't be squares obviously so if I were to have Suzanne the monkey or a different object or something with a lot more vertices a lot more faces then it wouldn't be squares but it's the same idea so hope you learned something new today hope you enjoyed today's tutorial I will see you in the next one but until then bye bye